this is Lord Kid <laughs> Slor Kids. <laughs> Hello Ma I'd just be happy that 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 um that what am I saying? I should be saying that. Oh, oh Hello my wonderful sewing friends, this is Loth and Door Kids, my name is Alisa, welcome back to my channel. I do realise I was absent for quite a while, I'm going to say at least five months. I think I'm going to be treading on the eggshells a little bit at the moment because this is not a political channel and I never intended it for it to be. Um, I did lash out on the Instagram for a while about Ukraine. Um, and I do feel strongly about it, but this channel is going to be strictly about sewing. Um, if you want to talk about Ukraine or ask me questions, um, you can do that on Instagram and I always, always respond. Um, and I do update you guys on the state of my family and friends in Ukraine um, and about the things that I know. For a while I couldn't look at sewing, I couldn't look at knitting, I couldn't even contemplate doing anything creative. But that has changed, as sad as it is, I think eventually every horrible thing kind of becomes more bearable, I think, with time, as, as your mind has the time to get used to it a little bit. Um, not that it becomes any less horrible, but at the moment I feel that being sad and heartbroken and cut up all over Ukraine is not really helping anybody so I'm just just trying to get on with my life um, um, along doing things to help. Um, I also try to keep my mental state um, as healthy as I can manage. Um, so this is my way of kind of cheering myself up just to kind of get back to vlogging and just do a little bit of that normality that I used to have so uh, um, and, and many of you wrote to me to say that you missed me on YouTube so here I am <laughs> for better or for worse um, yeah good luck with that <laughs> um, okay so I'm going to talk about things that you haven't seen so I, I have made a lot of things in the past in the past five months, six months, that I haven't really shown um, on YouTube. Uh, I have been upkeeping my Instagram account and I have been quite active there uh, whilst I was absent here on YouTube. So um, I think I've shown some stuff um, on Instagram, but I know how you all like the details and you know the rambling on and the talking about it so i'm just gonna go through everything that i haven't shown on my youtube channel um <clears throat> and then if you've seen something or you're not interested you just skip over right or, or not <laughs> don't do that <laughs> okay so um another thing i need to say is that most of my stuff is made with vicky sews patterns um, you know that I, I, I work for Vicky, so not at the moment, I've, I have stopped that for, for the time being. I'm still on the books, I'm not doing any work for them because I don't know how to feel about the situation in relation to me working there. The last, the last pay that I've had from them, uh, I have sent to Ukraine. So, um, on a personal level, uh, you know, I absolutely adore uh, the company. I adore Vicky. I absolutely admire what she's done as a as a young woman entrepreneur. How she grown business from nothing, from zero, to what she is now. And I um, feel really, really sorry for how when just when she started um, growing her um, English speaking channel and and having her English. Um, department you know growing and developing and whilst being heavily pregnant um, at the same time you know when um, the war happened um, she 
was one of the very few, if not the only, from what I've seen, she was actually the only one um, from what I was subscribed to on the Russian Instagram who said anything um, about war. She said she doesn't support war, she says she's for peace. She employs a lot of all the Russian speaking ladies from like former USSR republics work together in this company including myself and I even live in the UK I know there are girl, Ukrainian girls who live in um, you know Canada also quite a few in the UK so I feel like it was not her choice to live in Russia and be in Russia when this happened so she didn't choose that however she did speak up and she did actually leave russia um and she is now in an english-speaking country and i know she wrote on her instagram that she's registered her company um in a different country so she now has basically two companies one that will be serving russian-speaking people um girl ladies and then another one that she's hoping to promote in the within the english speaking sewing community so i do intend to support her i mean that's all i have to say about it um i know that she technically she is from russia but i do advocate for their company a big deal and they did steal my little sewing heart with their patterns um and i just can't i just can't leave them alone so i'm just telling you now that <laughs> pretty much um i think like 95 95% of my makes are all going to be Vicky Sills patterns. So if you are not happy about that, I'm sorry, but this is what's going to be. We start with two of my most worn things that I've made. Um, since I've shown you any of my makes last. So I've got Adriana Hoodie. Hoodie? Hoodie? Um... My boyfriend laughs at me every time I say it and I still don't remember what he... I don't think he even corrects me, I think he just laughs, <laughs> which is quite mean. And, um, and Bipsky Lou does exactly the same. She just um, repeats what I said and then she laughs her head off. Thanks guys. Um, hoodie? Hood? Hoodie? A hoodie, I think. Not hoodie. Anyway, I've got a hoodie, <laughs> Adriana. Um, looks like this. Um, it looks like this and it has the um, lined um, hoodie um, that I lined. Um, it's got um, cuffs, double cuffs. It has the band at the bottom. Um, and I put one of the... My English is gone. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> um, labels. So one of the labels and I've also applied a non-stretch like... cross grain ribbon cross grow grain ribbon right that's what it's called yeah i think i haven't spoken about sewing for so long i've forgotten literally all the words for it so i've just applied that um so that the back of it doesn't stretch but i did i did leave the front of it a little stretchy so that i can get my head through the fabric i was working with is um organic cotton um it's lovely it's very stretchy it's not like a thin cotton a slightly thickish kind of cotton i think i was talking about it in episode four um and i did say back then that it was quite expensive but you know what every penny that i paid for it really paid off because i have been wearing this non-stop and so i've been wearing this and then i also have you're gonna laugh at me i'll tell you why in a minute um, I also have um, the trousers, and the trousers are called Nika. Um, so, yeah, again, they have cuffs at the bottom. They have um, a f like a fake zip fly. 
right? Um, and it has the real pockets um, and um, wide elastic at the top. Yeah, there's nothing really to report um, as such. I think it's just like literally just the pockets here. Um, and yeah, this is it. And the reason you're going to be laughing at me is um, because I was doing them together. I had all the parts for both of these garments and um, somehow I have switched up the bottoms of the sleeves with the bottoms of my legs, right? So uh, my sleeve cuffs are a little bit too wide, just a tad. And my leg cuffs are actually amazingly nice and fitted, so <laughs> none of it's bothering me. And um, the legs are actually a bonus because I do like them more fitted. So the next pair I will be making, I will actually use the cuffs from the sleeves of the Adriana. I've shown you my Jacqueline trousers that were made of viscose um, and polyester mix that I've gotten myself from myfabrics.co.uk um, and I've had just enough for a little, um, oh, what's it called, waistcoat. And waistcoat is Liliana and I do believe that it's actually been translated now into English. Now, I've worn it twice already and I shouldn't have because I'm still kind of can't find the D-ring that goes in the back to secure um, the back the back ties. I'll try to find something in plastic, um, either blue or black even. I don't know um, how lucky I'm gonna get, but um, this is a still, I call it like um, a theoretically finished project and I did wear it, <laughs> but um, I shouldn't have. So um, basically I've messed up the pockets. Um, I've messed up the pockets and I didn't do what I preached to you and I didn't test them out. So I literally had to to not do the pockets so on this on the inside there are no pockets but it looks like there are but it's not very tidy basically i just left them there because i've, I've already made so much progress on it i just thought you know what i'm just going to finish it as it is so this is a mess um however if you don't look at it too close it almost looks like it's okay but it's not okay <laughs> Right, so um, on the inside, I lined it as per the instructions. I think it looks pretty decent. Um, um, and the instructions were for something so small and fiddly. Um, I spent quite a lot of time on this garment. And however, I have to say the instructions were really clear um, and that's like one of the many reasons I love their patterns. I've realized as well, after I've made this, that I'm not really a waistcoat person. I'll pop you a photo of me wearing this this set um, together with the blue shirt and it looks okay. But if I were to put a different color shirt so that you would actually see that it's a waistcoat, it is the waistcoat lines of the actual garment, any waistcoat, not this one in particular, but any waistcoat are not flattering for me because what I need to concentrate is on making my shoulders slightly wider and this actually make it look like I have shoulders that are more narrow than the rest of my body. So um, I will still wear with a dark shirt, but I don't think I'm prepared to spend that much time on something that I can't wear with everything like the rest of my wardrobe. So that's uh, waistcoat Liliana. Then I made um, Vicky So's Britney jeans and what happened there is I used a fabric with stretch and it clearly said in the instructions not to um, but in my defense it so ended up that I actually had to substitute the waistband pieces with a just a waistband that has elastic in it all around and oh my is this if is this like the most comfortable pair of jeans that i've ever owned uh yes <laughs> um 
they are banana shape so the, the the legs are quite wide so you've got like fitted at the waist obviously and then it goes out and then at the bottom of the um, legs it, you have two darts the shape of a leg go in um, quite dramatically I would say um, it also has a yoke a yoke and two pockets um, I did it top stitching I think it just spit at the camera <laughs> um, I did the top stitching um, but I did it with like a dark blue or a dark grey um, color thread because I didn't want for it to stand out I literally just wanted it to be just a pair of blue trousers but I can tell you this this is really really super comfortable um, pair of trousers here's the pocket lining I used it um, um, I use it with material left over from my shirts that I made I'll show you in a minute so um, this pair of trousers again I was wearing and wearing and wearing the next two pairs of trousers are not are not as worn as the other two the previous ones and the reason for that is that I kind of got I grew out of them <laughs> I just got a little wider <laughs> so um I was using size 46 in Vicky Sews and most of my patterns were in size 46 and I would just buy fabric, cut it and make the garment. I never do alterations um, um, because I never needed them. I didn't do alterations. Uh, so these two, um, the first one I made, I tried to put it on and it wouldn't close up on top. And the second one, it's like it's quite a a tight fit so anyway I'll show you in a second but these two haven't actually been worn yet right so we're gonna talk about Vicky So's Adeline Adeline beautiful beautiful um, fabric is from Exeter Fabric Center it's gorgeous wool I did show you this wool I think in one of my videos um it's lovely um and i think you can't really see the details but it's just like the detail on this garment is quite nice like everything has been made with love and care <laughs> apart from what is it apart from this um hook and eye that I did think it would blend in but it kind of didn't so I need to redo it but the rest of it um, I'm pretty pleased with myself. Let me just show you on the inside. So this is the um, the inside of the trousers. This is your pocket here. Um, and yeah, this is the zip. And the bottoms. At the bottom has just been overlocked and just stitched just stitched over um, I'm not sure about this design for me and I tell you why whilst I was worried about Ukraine so much for a few weeks I couldn't eat properly I would, I would forget to eat and I did lose about a size um, and I did put them on and they do look lovely but I think because the um, legs are slightly cropped and because they're so wide and cropped, they create, instead of elongating, they're creating a kind of slightly bulkier look. And I think it's for girls that are very slim or for somebody who's like slim and tall. I think it's lovely. Well, I am tall, but yeah for somebody who's slim it just creates that nice kind of voluminous kind of like a biggish kind of look um but for me it kind of just a bit too i don't know it's like volume on volume you know like i i yeah i'm not quite sure about it i think if i got really skinny 
um, <laughs> or much smaller than I am now, I would wear them definitely because they do feel quite nice and it's gorgeous fabric. But at the moment, they're just hanging in my wardrobe. Vicky says Hillary has also been made with um, this gorgeous um, triple crepe from Exeter Fabrics and the color of it is just so gorgeous. Um, so it's so gorgeous that I actually bought myself another <laughs> two something meters to make um, a Jacqueline trousers out of them because I definitely know that that's gonna that's gonna fit me well. So again I quite messed up the pockets I'm gonna show you quickly mess number one mess number two the back pockets I was supposed to be making I prepared the interfacing for them and everything and I decided against it because I was at the point where I knew already they were too small so I was like screw that I'm literally I'm just gonna finish them so I don't have an unfinished garment but I'm just gonna skip all the pockets so um, what I like about I think I might try and do this in a stretchy fabric because if it were a stretchy fabric I think um, I would be actually to uh, I would be able to wear it. Um, the um, legs of these trousers on the inside have a slit, especially in the winter. It's quite nice when you wear like a boot or something that you can actually see it peeking through as you walk. Um, I think it's lovely detail, um, and this is what they look like on the inside. Again, the instructions are very clear, very lovely. Um, these are another pair of trousers that unfortunately have not been worn. So if I can't sit in them, then I will not be wearing them. Okay, so what I'm wearing right now is Vicky Sew's Cynthia. What I've done is I lengthened sleeves and cuffs. I lengthened sleeves and cuffs. And I widened the cuffs as well. And then I wrote in my notes, unnecessary, <laughs> um, which it was. The fabric is this amazing stretch black cotton from Exeter Fabric Center, again. Um, it has a little bit of sheen to it. Um, and I think I did, I actually did a poll on, um, on Instagram um, about which buttons to use for this shirt and basically they all like came out like equally voted for and this one is just the plainest one that I've decided to use so this is what I'm using um, I love Cynthia's shirt this is the second one I've made the first one is this one and it's made out of short cotton from Fabworks um, if any of you know where to find this short cotton, um, I would be very grateful for a pointer because I am absolutely in love with this fabric. Um, it's thickness, it's just perfect, you know, the feel, the look of the two colors like um, coming through, you know, um, it's gorgeous. I can't find any and the one that I find is for quilters. Is it the same one? I don't think it is. Um, I did ask works I think and I think once it's gone it's gone they like don't like restock some of the items unfortunately but this is a dark blue shot cotton Cinti shirt um, it has been made according to all the instructions I did change it simplify the sleeve a little bit on my black one but this one has actually been made following all the instructions and the cute thing is I have actually translated this pattern uh, myself so um, before I even made a Saint t shirt I knew exactly all the steps um, so yeah I think that's 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 quite cute um, yeah I love I love the color I just and, and I love the pattern in fact um, because it is quite oversized it is quite oversized um, but the sleeves are just the correct length I think with the black one I wanted them to be longer and I regretted that I've, I've lengthened them and I regretted that because with the blue one they are just exactly what they should be I am planning on making 
at least two more i will be making a video soon on my sewing plans um so i will be able to show you what i have in mind um it's a very easy shirt to make and i do love making shirts i think i've said that before um there's something very structured and mathematical um and at the same time quite cute about it it's like everything falls into place everything matches everything just comes out as you do it everything comes out just so um i do love shirt making and i do love wearing shirts as well so these are my two sincere shirts um next shirt i've made is a vicky so's jenna and vicky so's jenna is like a it's like a, almost like a pajama like um, shirt. I don't know how I feel about it. The fabric is from Exeter Fabric Center again and um, it's beautiful viscose chalet. It's gorgeous. Um, I love like the flowery kind of um, animal printy design of it. I think although for the shirts whether I chose like the wrong interfacing or I don't know I, I was doing everything and following as it is um, the color keeps curling it keeps curling and it just feels a bit odd I, I don't know I do love the finished product um, it's really cute and the buttons I chose are I think can you see them um they are cute gold like gold buttons um and there's nothing wrong with it um i just don't seem to wear it as as much as the others i don't know the next make is uh surprisingly enough is not vicky sews it's hemlock tea uh, from the Grand Line Studio. I believe it's a free pattern and it's made um, with a beautiful Minerva viscous jersey that I have been gifted. This is a beautiful pattern. I've had one made out of viscose before and um, I want it so much that I had to chuck it <laughs> and make a new one. Um, I've made the neckband um, like in a different direction so that it stands out and I also made um, the cuffs in a different direction to the sleeve and they are I just think they were cuffs actually I made them I made my own cuffs and I made them like a double um, a double cuff so um, that's that um, and also what's also um, is important that I put another grow grain ribbon um, I can do a little video um, to show you how I do it if you like um, and it's really it looks really nice like a, a more like a upscale kind of garment um, and also it keeps the neck back neck from stretching um, this shirt uh, I have worn quite a few times already and what I've actually discovered with um, knit fabric is that you actually need to press it I never used to press knit garments but guess what if you press it it literally takes your finished garment to the next level just believe me just just believe me on that and I'm all for like saving time and stuff um, but that's that's what happens so basically this is something that you would see in the shop like if I saw this in a shop I would definitely buy it and that's how I know whether my garment has been successful or not. Next one is Cardigan Amber. Um, again, it's a Vicky Sales pattern and it's been made with this gorgeous shimmery uh, fireworks poly jersey. Um, I think I've made my own cuffs for it. Um, again, this has been vigorously ironed it's just honestly such a gorgeous um such a gorgeous piece especially with like a bit of artificial lighting it just looks really pretty um and it does have a bit of like an animal print that is covered in sparkles and the sparkles just were everywhere literally in my hair in my nose in all, all over the sewing machine on the floor on the ceiling like i don't know if i had a cat it'd probably be filled with um sparkles but unfortunately i don't Fortunately for a cat. Um, 
I was trying, you know how my sewing machine is not very buttonhole friendly and it's very selective about which bloody fabrics it likes or not. So this fabric it just did not like um, and so instead of doing the buttonholes I've just I just did the I just did the poppers. Um, the poppers like this. Um, and to be fair it saved me a lot of nerves. A lot of nerve cells um, and it looks just the right um, I think with this one I will have to take some pictures but I'm thinking of wearing it on its own because I did position the poppers in a way that it's not too low um, so I can literally wear it as like an evening top or I can wear it over something with other things over a dress perhaps I don't know I have to to style it up and see and see what it looks like okay so the next dress that we have is Vicky So's Iliana dress and um, I have mixed emotions about it um, the fabric is from extra fabric center what I did was this dress oh it comes up really orange it's not that orange it's quite just normal red true red I've lengthened the sleeves myself and I've created the slit on the bottom of a sleeve um and that's pretty much all the changes that i've made i did everything else according to the instructions including the edge of uh, the uh, binding um i think it looks interesting i would say it looks quite interesting i don't wear this dress i don't wear it because it's it's too tight on me and the cut and 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 you know the neckline is really really low it's like literally it's like this <laughs> um i mean maybe i can wear it on valentine's day <laughs> in the house you know um um where nobody else sees me but my boyfriend <laughs> um let's say because you honestly like you have to stand up like this you can't go like this you can't because like ev literally everybody will see what underwear you wear today so I want to say it's like it still fits beautifully but for my liking too tight too low um I, I don't know what to do about the neckline i don't know maybe wear maybe wear some sort of like a net bra that actually comes um and shows you know so, so make it like intentional so that way it's like yes this is part of my outfit and then or maybe some sort of net like a little v-neck or something to kind of cover this part of your boobage <laughs> um, um, but again I, I do like this dress it's just not very it doesn't fit into my lifestyle <laughs> let's just say that okay okay this dress um, was made on my birthday in December and it's a black crushed velvet from the textile center uh, the direction you probably can't see that the direction has been changed so it has like slight difference between the top and the bottom um, I don't remember exactly it's one of the big four patterns I will write down the number for it it, it was not a problem to make it the only problem is I couldn't quite figure out how to finish the cowl for it um, if any of you made it can you tell me what you did because I was reading and reading and reading about it and I couldn't quite find out what how you do it they didn't just put in there so I literally just kind of secured it with the hand stitches <clears throat> um, at the bottom of the cowl neck like this um, and then it just like hangs like that is that what you're supposed to do I don't know did I do it right do were you supposed to like create some sort of a pleat or something I don't know I don't know it looks fine um, I love the length, I love the fit, I feel very demure in it, you know, um, I wore it for my birthday meal um, to a lovely um, steak restaurant, I felt super expensive <laughs> uh, wearing a £10 fabric worth dress, um, why not, that's what we're sewing for, right? So, um, so yeah, that's it, just a normal fit in should have fit in sleeve. I think if you go on my Instagram, you see me dancing around in it um, in a very jazzy way, um, wearing big earrings. Um, I thought I, I was trying to make reels and I was like, what can I 
do. So I just came up with some sort of, like, I don't know what I was doing. Anyway, just if you want to see in, mo in motion, <laughs> um, you can check out my Instagram. There's music there um, for it. Um, another thing that I'm not showing you is my uh, trench coat, the famous trench coat that I made. Um, Leonore uh, trench coat. It's literally is in the wash as we speak. Um, and I decided to kind of give it a good clean, iron it out and then show you it because I was wearing, this whole time I was wearing it all winter. Um, so I'm just going to clean it up and make a separate video about it and tell you how much it cost me, uh, where I got my stuff, um, you know, like everything about the process and stuff like that. I think it deserves a separate video because it's such a big project. So um, yeah, this is it for the time being. If I remember anything else, I'll show you. Um, I also have a couple of knitting knitting bits that I've made. Um, I think I will include it in my next video. I have a couple of other things that I haven't shown you which were made previously, maybe not last year, the year before, but they were not featured on my channel, so I'm just going to do that. Um, so I'm just going to leave you now. Um, thank you for um, listening to my rambling and thank you for welcoming me back. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what um, you think about my makes. Um, did any of this make you laugh? I hope it did. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Meanwhile, stay pretty and make something beautiful. Do you know what? I totally forgot. Um, whilst I'm saying that, this is the present I received from my friend Rima and Rima is a Ukrainian girl, she's my gorgeous friend who lives in Canada and she sent me this for my birthday and since I, I didn't make any videos I didn't feature this but this is a sloth that she's ordered for me. Um, <laughs> see what it says. Um, it says all the right stuff, it's for my channel. Stay pretty and sew something beautiful. So this is what I say at the end of each video. I thought it was absolutely so thoughtful of Rima. She's such a sweetheart, it literally made me cry a little bit. I was so happy about it. But look at of all the colors, the lilac is my favorite color, hello. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I absolutely love it. So this sloth is now like my channel, my channel little animal. Um, I know I have a couple of other ones, but they're all friends, but this one is particular, has my channel name on it. So thank you, my darling.